Hey, this is Chris with vidsociety.com and I've been getting a lot of requests from people to do a video on SEO Autopilot and how I use it. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you guys how I use it in this tool. I always use the campaign wizard just to make things easy and fast because I found out that's just working great for me. So I'm going to take you through as I do a full campaign of linking to one of my buffer sites, a medium.com site where I made a post on. Uh, so I can send some link juice to it to build that up to um, so when it sends that juice to my main site it's going to be a lot more effective so this is the main layout I'm not going to go over everything on the tool I'm not going to go over everything about setting it up you can find some tutorials on their website you can actually check it out at seoautoapp.com or check the links out below this video it'll give you more details on this and other tools that I use to integrate with this tool to make it work really well such as spin rewriter if you guys don't have that tool yet you can pick it up through my link at spinrw.com and even grab two gigs of PLR content you can use for when you're creating your content for SEO autopilot okay so the first thing you want to do is come up here and click on settings and what I do is under submission I, I don't mess with any of this stuff but under submission I change this from six to three it's going to allow it to run a lot faster and not continually retry over and over the ones that are failing for some reason and so actually uh, lots of times I'll even just run it at two which I'll keep it at that for now because usually if I don't get it in two tries it's definitely not going to get it in four more tries uh, next are your proxies this is where you can enter any proxies you have I highly recommend using proxies for this um, I'll put a link below for the proxies that I use as well as third-party APIs now uh, I'll go ahead and click on here I'll just have my content blurred out so you can't see it but you definitely want to have a captcha service I recommend two captcha they are one of the cheapest and they are also one of the best to use under spinners I use spin rewriter but you can also use word AI spinner chief or spinner.com that or dot br I'm not sure what that one is there um, but I always use spin rewriter for all my content and normally I don't even use it through SEO autopilot I just log into my actual spin rewriter account and get everything from there which I'll show you here in just a minute how I do under content source if you have an API key for article forge you can use that and then under indexers they have a lot of different ones here uh, this one here the Omega indexer is absolutely amazing it's actually created by the same people who made SEO autopilot and it works very well to index all your links once again I normally don't use it directly through the software instead I will only grab my tier 1 links and uh, once the project is done and I'll go directly into my account and paste them in there so it's only uh, indexing my main tier 1 links and then all the other ones kind of get found naturally okay once you're done you want to make sure you save it now when you go here I'm gonna go under campaign wizard but before I do that if you guys aren't familiar with this tool let me kind of explain this whole thing here so, so you got a better idea of what it works so this is your main um, task so this is everything that it does everything that it creates based upon the campaign that you select when you're creating your project so these are all the web 2.0 blogs and we can keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and see all kinds of them this is a project that I was working on a little bit ago and I went ahead and paused it so it didn't finish but you can see everything that I have it set up in here to do and so you can see here where it says it will have in parentheses a number and then T2 or T1 and that stands for tier 1 or tier 2 so you can know if they're being sent directly to your tier 1 links or if they're being sent to your uh, or if your tier 2 are being sent to your tier 1s to back them up so what it's going to do is as it's creating all these sites it's going to give you a status update and tell you if it was successful or not uh, your username your password your email will all be shown here and then after it's submitted it will show you the link once it's been created now this page will not automatically refresh on its own so once it starts creating everything give it about 10 or 15 minutes to get some of them done and then you come up here and click on refresh grid and then it'll show you what it's done since the last time you clicked on refresh grid you can also come up here and click on view submitted URLs and it'll show you all the URLs that it's already submitted in your task now over here in groups this just kind of breaks it down uh, into the actual group so you have all your web 2.0 blogs it says that there are so far 37 out of 59 has been done out of the authority links 
Uh, so far 27 out of 105 and then it goes through the other ones that I have here. Now there's a lot of other sources you can use but this was just the diagram that I was using. And it's basically the same one that I use over and over especially for my blogs and my reviews. So what you want to do is you want to come up here to folders and you want to create a folder. Now I have a bunch of folders in here. I'm not going to let you guys see all these because a lot of them are for my clients and for other work that I do. But I created one here to show you for Medium and it's going to be for this post that I'm going to make my uh, drive all my links to. So I want to come up here and click on Campaign Wizard and I'm going to give it a name. So for this one I'm going to title it Yive Medium because it's going to be for the upcoming Yive product. And then I'm going to select my folder, which is medium, click OK. And then it's going to bring us into the wizard where we can choose our website age. So if you're doing this for the first time, follow along and answer these accordingly because it's going to kind of give you the best diagrams to use. Uh, this is a, definitely an established site, so I'm going to go ahead and click next. But it really doesn't matter because I'm going to use this diagram here, which is the one that I uh, created in the diagram editor so you can come in here and you can basically create any kind of diagram you want so if I do this and let's just say that uh, SEO autopilot has 50 web 2.0 blogs built into it then that means there's going to be 50 web 2.0 blogs here being sent to my money site and then another 50 of them right here and they're all going to the money site so there's going to be a total of like a hundred web 2.0 blogs being drove to my money site and then you also have EDU links, which you can take them. You can link them to your money site. You can take social bookmarking uh, tasks and you can uh, link them to your web 2.0 blogs to help them to index or to give them a little extra juice. And so you can kind of create your own diagram here of how you want it. And so this is the one that I came up with and this is what I'm going to use for this example. So. There's all different kinds of other ones in here that you can use. I'm just going to say be very careful because you got ones like this. And guys, these things here, these are going to take a long time to complete. They're going to use a ton of captures uh, and a ton of accounts to create. So keep that in mind if you use something like this. And definitely don't use a, a diagram like this on a brand new website. You want to use something much smaller on a new site. So I'm going to go back up here with the one I created and click next. Okay, so in here we're going to click or uh, we're just going to leave this to one link per article. This is what I always leave it in. And then you want to enter your money site URL links here. I always put one or two at the most here uh, with the diagram that I'm using. And if we do a search for Yive Review, come down here. This is the medium post and it's kind of funny because there's really not even much on here. It's basically a title a picture and a link going to my Vid Society site. That's it. And we've already got it ranked on the first page of Google, but we're going to go ahead and do some more. So I'm just going to copy this URL and we're going to paste this in here. Now, primary keywords. This is the main keyword we want to use as our anchor text. So I'm going to do Yive and we'll do Yive Review but I don't want it doing 100%. If all of our anchor text is 100%, that's gonna look very spammy, very unnatural. I usually leave this around 20%. And then for the generic keywords, I usually leave this around 20%. And then the plain URLs, I will put at 60% because most of the time, your backlinks are actually gonna be links. So this here is what you wanna make the most. And for primary keywords, you know, you could, you definitely want to make this the keyword you want to rank for, but you could also put keywords in here that are for your website, like brand terms. So I could use vid society uh, just because those are common keywords that are also used, but I'm going to leave this the way it is and click next. Okay. Right here, you got your accounts and your profiles. So once you create accounts for all of your uh, sources, such as your web 2.0 blogs, um, for like WordPress, Tumblr, BraveNet, EDU, all those, those are all stored within your accounts. So you can reuse these uh, the next time you make a post and you can select those. So I can just leave this one on here for now. These are accounts that I've used over and over for different affiliate marketing posts. And so it's just going to repost to those same ones over and over and build those blogs up. So they're going to have a lot of posts on them. They're going to have more authority. So each time they're going to have more power as I'm doing these campaigns using SEO Autopilot. Now I want to make sure down here that I click on use existing account presets if I've already created accounts 
in here if I haven't you want to click on create new accounts and it's going to go and set up all the new accounts on all of these for you it is going to take longer than if you already have accounts because it'll just post to them if you already have them existing because it don't need to create them and you can also manage your accounts right here and organize them now your profiles these are different profiles are what SEO autopilot uses to create all of your accounts with so it's like your email accounts that you have set up that it's going to use when it creates all of your accounts so I have some set up here I'm gonna go ahead and choose mine and the reason that I'm uh, selecting one of these even though I'm using existing accounts is because SEO autopilot updates all the time like two or three times a week and so over that time some of the sites may stop working some of them may start working they may add new sites and so if it's running through here and if it sees that there hasn't been an account built on a certain site or if one of the accounts quit working it's going to recreate a new account on that site using whatever preset you use here so once that's done click next okay now here I used to take a lot of time filling all this stuff out I don't do that anymore because it didn't seem to make that much of a difference so what you want to do is I, I leave this the same I used to put my keyword in here I used to put my keyword in my blog subdomain I don't do that anymore uh, you want to click on generate title and what this is going to do is it has a built-in paragraph and what it does is it replaces uh, words in it with your keyword and so what it does let me go back here a couple steps it uses whatever you have here in your primary keywords to insert into these titles and that's why it's important to make sure you only enter keywords in that one box and I'm going to show you what's even going to make it more important to just make sure they're only your keywords uh, click capitalize here to make sure all your text is uh, properly capitalized because this is going to be the title and then what I do is I come over here and I go to easy articles or I use my PLR content bundle that I have and I'll, I'll pick something out of there and I'll take it to spin rewriter I'll throw it in here I'll spin it so I have a nice long article and then I'm going to take it copy it I'm going to paste it in here now I want to show you a trick that I do here to make these articles much more relevant and I don't see many people doing this at all and I think it can make a huge difference so the first thing you want to do is come clear up here to the beginning and you want to make the very first word your keyword so I'm going to put Yive space and then whatever else it wants to say as long as my keywords first and then you want to take this first paragraph copy it and you want to put it down here because this is for uh, social bookmarking and PDF description and if you don't have anything in this box you're going to get an error when you try to move to the next step so I always just take the, the first paragraph of my article and paste it down here okay now what I'm going to do is down here in the post title uh, I'm going to take all of this content and copy it and then I'm going to come over here in my article and I'm going to scroll down and we can see right here a title of something I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to replace it with the spun paragraph I'm going to paste this in here at the very end I'm going to put my closing header to tag and at the beginning of it I'm going to put my opening header to tag okay so basically this is one long um, paragraph of spun titles with our keyword in it so every time it creates a new article using this it's going to randomly pick one of these spun titles to use right here as a header to tag so we're going to scroll down and okay we'll just put another one right here in place of this one and we'll scroll down and put another one right here in place of this one and now when we preview the article you want to see this is the main title and then this here this section right here is what's actually down here in this box and then we have these titles here that we just added in the article and you can see every one of them has our keyword in it Yive Yive then Yive review once that's done you want to click next there's a lot of other things you can do here with short codes and stuff I don't do this um, it takes a lot more time and it just doesn't seem like that it's necessary and then if you don't have like spin rewriter you can generate an article down here by clicking this button and then you can use their free spinner to spin it 
but you're not going to get near as good quality using that. I used to use that a lot, uh, but the quality just isn't very good at all. So I've been doing it this way and everything seems to work out much better. And even the blog seem to last a lot longer. So we're going to click next. Okay, now here we can add media in our content. And this is super easy to do because it'll import everything for you. So under the image URL, we can put number of images. I'm just going to say one. We're going to position it in the article or in a random place. And then we're going to enter a keyword. So uh, basically, this is going to search for images uh, from YouTube videos using video editing, amount 20, and we're going to scrape images. And it found 20 images. Okay, so if we go to one of these here, copy it, and if I paste it into my browser, uh, you're going to see this is the image. It has to do with video editing. Okay, next, YouTube video URL. So if you have YouTube videos uh, that you want to embed in here, maybe on your review or whatever it is, you want to put those in here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to have it randomly search for videos based around Yive review and I have several videos already out there so I know most of the videos it's going to extract are actually going to be mine anyways so we're just going to scrape the videos okay and that's done and then you can even embed Google uh, Maps so if you if this is something you do I know a lot of people's really into Google Maps and you can embed those codes here and put it within your article too once you're done click on preview article and we can see here our title and here we go there's our video and actually there's the one video that it imported um, image we can spin it again and there's a different yai video and so basically you want everything in your article to be relevant you want the picture to be relevant you want the video to be relevant the title to be relevant and that way when it links back to whatever content you're linking to it's going to have more authority to it so once you're done with that you want to click next and then you're going to choose your services to use. Uh, once you set it up, it stays this way. I use two captcha browser threads. I usually run 10 at a time. I don't recommend you try to do anything else on your computer when you do this because it will try to take your mouse from you every time as it's filling out the stuff automatically. It's just kind of a pain to work while this is running unless you have a VPS. Uh, next, if you're using an indexer and you automatically want to use that at the time that it gets done, you can choose here the one the project is over it will submit all of them um, i like to do this manually so i'm not going to choose any of those and click finish now normally this only takes me five ten minutes at the most to do to get one of these campaigns set up uh, depending on what all i'm doing uh, even though this took us maybe 15 minutes to get set up because i'm doing more explaining it only takes five to ten minutes to do all this and then once you get it uh, done and set up all you have to do is click start it's going to take about a minute to get everything going, get everything organized. And then down here in the bottom in the log section, it's going to start showing you everything that it's doing. Uh, and then up here, as you wait 10 or 15 minutes, you can come up here and click on refresh grid and it'll start showing results in here as it's completing each task. So you can see down here now campaign Yive starting campaign. And so what I'm going to do is go ahead and give it a few minutes here uh, to let it run and then we'll be back. Okay, so I've let this run for a few minutes. We're going to come up here and click Refresh Grid. And you can see it's already created quite a few links here. And I can come up and left or right click on any of these. Uh, if you want to select it first and then right click. Then you can go to Navigate to Submitted URL. And then what it's going to do is show you this post it made. Here's our anchor text. You can see our title here with our keyword, keyword. There's our image and there's a video review of it. So that is how easy it is to use SEO Autopilot. And then what you can do when you're done, you can actually come up here and right click on this uh, when it's done and stopped and you can duplicate this and then go in and just change out the URLs, the article and whatever you want to. But I like to just run the campaign wizard for every one of mine and it seems to work perfect every time. Now, with that said, a few things I wanna tell you. Number one, it's very important to have good proxies. Okay, so check out the link below this video. I'll show you exactly the ones that I use for this and they work very, very well. Uh, second, if you want a good spin rewriter, use spin rewriter, uh, spinrw.com. That link is also under this video. Now, when it is making these posts, you're not gonna see every one of these show up as successful because 
These are changing constantly because of tools like SEO Autopilot. And so uh, lots of times these sites won't work, which is why they do two to three updates per week to try to fix all these broken links. And they, they constantly do that over and over and over. Now, how well does this work in getting results? Well, I'm going to show you. So give me a second here and I'm going to get some reviews that I have here that I've done and ones that I've ranked. So this here is of a product that was recently launched. It was for a launch jacking product. About two weeks before it came out, I made a review and here it is ranked at number two. This one here, I was ranked on the second page for a long time. I got it down here and then finally after running a full campaign on SEO Autopilot letting it set, I finally got up here and made it to number one. Here's another one for Bluio Review, which I done uh, very well on this one. Uh, Keyword Atlas, I used it for promoting my video and right now we are in the three pack. This is another product that was launched here a couple months ago. I got ranked number two. Melvio ranked number one. And then this last one, I worked, I done several campaigns on it, but just to show you how powerful this is, this was a huge product called Fade to Black. And this is a video game, okay? So on the first page, if you type in Fade to Black review, you can see over here that it's a video game and they have all this stuff about these video games, GameSpot up here, Rotten Tomatoes. And right under Rotten Tomatoes, uh, I got my site ranked even above Wikipedia, IGN, and all these other sites. So uh, this is huge, guys, and it works very, very well if you use it. So there is a little bit of a learning curve to it, but it does work very well. So this is SEO Autopilot. If you guys do want to check it out, go to seoautoapp.com uh, where you can learn more and read the details below this video. I'll put some other links in there you might be interested in, as well as uh, to join my Facebook group and to subscribe to my channel so you get updated when I do other reviews and posts like this. So. If this uh, was something you guys like, please like the video, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment below, and I will get to them as soon as I can. Thanks.